Radio, here we go. Grade 11, so we're on page 812 in the HSE workbook. Uh, and we are going to do our last uh, CAM, Loki of a CAM for this term, um, as you prepare also for your final exams and your FAT. So let's have a look on how to draw a CAM profile and a displacement diagram uh, where the motion is given. All right. So on this page, it says they've given us the details of a wedge shape follower as in its starting position. There's some heights here, um, the width of that follower, the degrees, and uh, they've indicated for us the camshaft. And there's a center point that they've uh, provided for us also. All right. Then they start with specifications. They say the minimum distance from the camshaft center to the cam profile is 14 millimeters. So you can take your compass, set it on 14. Maybe let me just do my center lines first here. Okay, and I'm going to take you through in this lesson just the steps, final steps to make sure you're able to draw a complex Loki here for grade 11. Okay, so there we have it. We've set this on 14 radius. And we're going to draw the minimum distance. That is the minimum distance that our follower will be from the um, minimum distance from the camshaft center, which is here, to the cam profile. It's this distance. So that's the minimum. That's actually where our follower start, right? On that point. Then they say the camshaft that's given has a diameter of 14. So for that one, we can use a stencil if it's too small a radius to draw okay and immediately make sure you hatch that because that's part of the requirement here is that that camshaft will be hatched okay and let's just draw the follower now in position that was given to us we've got 60 degrees this side as well as this side the width there is 10 so five on each side, and then the height there is 56. Okay, so this part of the drawing, just to get started, it shouldn't take you the whole day. It should be nice and quick. Okay, there's our follower. Alright, then it says, uh, it's a wet shape follower, rotation is anti-clockwise, so please next. So all I'm doing is I'm going down this actual list here on the side, okay, of specifications. As I read them, I'm finishing it off so that I don't confuse myself. And then the maximum radius is 64. Okay, I'll just make a mark here for, for the time being. Alright. Now, let's look at the motion that's provided for us. Now, I want you to do that just anywhere on your piece of paper. Find an empty space, make a little mark. And now it says, from 0 to 90, the cam follower rises 50 millimeters. Arrow, 50 millimeters. Rise from 0 to 90. Then, the cam, cam, camera, cam, cam follower falls 25. Directly after that, there's a 25 fall. Then it dwells, in other words, it stays at rest from 150 to 240, and then it returns to the starting position. So the motion that they're going to give you here, do a little bit of a diagram to help you just see the motion there initially. So our maximum displacement here is how much? 50. Okay. And so if I now use the base of that follower, draw a line to the left, and I add my 50, okay, that's where I come to that 64, which I said was the maximum maximum um, radius. All right. Are you all with me at this stage? All right. Now, the scale for this displacement diagram is next one. Using our horizontal scale with 30 degrees equals 6 millimeters. Now, you can just have a starting point here. Okay. And every 6 millimeters is then 30 degrees. And we know there is how many? 12, 
30s in 360, so we're ending up with 72. Ne? So you're going to go 6, 12, 18, 24, 32, 8, 30, glory, 36, 42, 48, 54, 60, 66, 72. There's the end of it. And then all of these divisions. What you also could have done is you could have measured the 72 at any angle, 12 divisions, zip, 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 and determined this with construction. Um, but if they say 6 millimeters, you are welcome to, to use that. Okay, the next part here is to label it, that's 0, 30, 60, 90, 120, 150, 180, 210, 240, 270, 300, 330, and 360. Alright, if it's a little bit small, sorry about that, zoom in a bit, okay. Alright, now from 0 to 90, it rises with to 50, so that's to the maximum. First dot. And last dot, and I can draw that in with confidence. Then it says from 90 to 150, so it's up to here, it falls with 25 millimeters, it's halfway. All right, then there's a rest from 150 to 240, and then from 240 to 360, it returns again. All right, all straightforward. <coughs> now, to continue this drawing, we have to divide. We've got 12 equal parts here. People, I'm repeating myself. I can hear some of you like, yeah, sir, we've done this before. And that's the magic of a Loki. If, you've, if you know the steps, if you re do it repeat repetitively, uh, you can really shine and draw these drawings with confidence. You know you're going to get them. It's part of the curriculum. And so make sure you're able to draw them well and finish them well. There's my zero. It's anti-clockwise. So the question is, do I go 0, 30, 60, 90 or do I go 0, 30, 60, 90? Right. Two ways of knowing it. I'll, I'll say the one that helps if you don't know and you have to figure it out. Take your hand, put your middle, middle finger at the zero and ask myself, if I turn anti-clockwise like the direction of rotation says, which finger will pass, remember the follower is going to move up and down, it's the cam that turns. So which finger will pass first, if I go anti-clockwise, it's this finger, do you see that? And so then I number 0, 30, 60, etc. Or you can just remember, if the direction of rotation is anti-clockwise, I number clockwise. To oh, 1, oh, 120, sorry. 120, 150, 180, 210, 240 degrees, 270 degrees, 300, 330, and we're going to end up back at 360 degrees. All right, and now we start from this one, and we're going to copy these over to start determining our cam profile. So space it nicely for you to see. So here we go, zero and zero, that's the easy one. Now at 30, don't do all of them at the same time. That's the temptation. To the zero degrees and bring that across to 30. Make a nice clear dot. All right, next one is 60. Again, one at a time. Makes you shine. All right, there's 60. Clear dot. 90 is right on the outside. Right, then we're going to our 120. Hundred and fifty till two forty, it's all at the same height. So I'm gonna draw that 
I can draw that nice and dark already because I know that's going to be part of the actual end drawing. Then 270 here. Three hundred okay. So once I have all my dots, I'm gonna take my French curve and here try and find a part on your French curve that's really um, see here. There we go. That's a good one. Almost there. There we have it. Okay. So again, if your dots are a little bit bigger, it's going to help you get your curve better. Okay. Okay, so you're just going to move your curve until, French curve, until you're able to draw a curve that works for you. Right here, there we go. Um, a couple of last things that we have to do on this. We have to add some labels. Okay, so one label that you can't forget here is the scale. All of these are marks. Um, 30 degrees is equal to 6 millimeters. This is um, rotation is in degrees. Any questions? And then here, of course, the label displacement diagram. Okay, uh, this vertical axis that is your displacement in millimeters, ne? Afrikaans verplaatsing in millimeter, in, uh, in, in millimeters. Yo, upside down millimeter there, okay. All right, displacement in millimeters, that's our total displacement. And then... Um, scales 30 degrees 6 millimeters rotation is in degrees it's called the displacement diagram here make sure that you have your camshaft your minimum distance indicated your direction of rotation your follower and that you've numbered 0 to 360 to just help us here so draw this follower or the cam profile with the highlighter So you're going to get marks for how smooth, well you're going to get a mark for getting the points like I've done at the correct spots and you're also getting another half a mark for every curve that is drawn to a neat and clean quality. Okay, so lots of marks up for grabs. This is about 30 to 40 marks in the exams. Here's our follower. Radio, that's it. The, uh, the overview of a Loki of a cam with a space and diagram. Thank you for watching. Now it's yours.